Welcome everybody to Nine's Corner. It is time for our monthly vibes. So sit back, relax, and let's find out what you need to know for the month of June. So first off, we got Aries. Aries, for the first week of June, you're gonna have strength or you're gonna need strength. It's 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 funny because Aries, you're the type that you're already that strong character. You're you're the one that suffers in silence. You're the you just got a strong character to you. You have strength in your character. But it's like you're going to need additional strength this this week. Or it's like um, some kind of challenge is going to be brought forth this week that you're going to have to overcome. So the first week in June is going to be a challenge. Don't look at it as something negative. Look at it as something positive because you have the strength to take care of it. For the second week, you got the King of Wands. So your focus is going to be on work. And if you're not working, it'll be around the home, like working around the home. It's summertime. It's time to... You know, get out the lawnmower. It's time to spruce up the house, open up the windows, you know, get everything feeling fresh and stuff. And if this is you at work, it just means that this week is going to be a week where you're focused on the job. For week three, ooh, we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is sort of like you like cycles. Things are happening. There's ups and downs. So for you, there could be... Um, Maybe a conflict of interest. Maybe there's something that you have to deal with. Maybe that started at the beginning of the month and now is into the third week of the month that you're going to have to deal with. You're going to have to come to some kind of conclusion about it and realize that if it works for you, great. And if it doesn't work for you, it's not a big deal. It's just the ups and downs of the wheel, right? And for the last week, we have the Four of Swords. So... For the last week in June, it's time to take a vacation, it's time to have relaxation, it's time to have self-care, retreat, do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel wonderful. You know, go um, take a break because if not, you're, you, you're going to get yourself sick. You need to rejuvenate yourself and the end of June is a perfect time for you to get started. So, Taurus, what do you need to know for the month of June? The first week out, we've got the moon. So this is when things can be a little bit um, confusing. It's like, you know there's something up, there's something that you're feeling, there's this foreboding feeling, but you just can't put your finger on it. You're not supposed to know right away. This is something that you're not supposed to know, but this is a good time to listen to your dreams or listen to your, your daydreams. Think about what it is that's on your mind and see if you can come up with some solutions and answers for it. Because there's something up. And if you feel intuitively like there's something up, it is something up. By the second week, we got the Seven of Cups. So there is indecision here. The first week, you know there's something up. There's something that's got to happen. There's going to be a decision that's got to be made to be made. But with the Seven of Cups here, it's letting me know like, there's some good choices and there's some not so good choices, but you have the power to know the difference. You do. So be careful about daydreaming in your second week, not being fully committed to being here in that moment. By the third week, we've got the King of Swords. So by the third week, you're like, you know what? Whatever was going on the first two weeks, I need to let go because I need to move forward. You're just ready to move on. Um, be careful. You might be a little bit testy this week. You might be a little bit quick-tempered with people and you don't, you really don't want to, to, uh, you know, upset anybody, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to cause a fight or cause a fuss because of something that you said when you know that you've been pre-warned not to say it. <laughs> and by the end of June, we have the four of court, four of cups. Four of Cups. So I think there's a part of you that is somewhat bored. Maybe you're looking for something interesting to do. Maybe you're waiting to go on vacation. Maybe it's time for you. You need a break. But it feels like there's there's like the physical part of you is fine. But the spiritual part of you maybe needs some work. And maybe you need to just take some time to yourself and think about the meaning of life, the meaningfulness of your life and anything that you can change to make that just a little bit more positive for you. So Gemini, what do you need to know for the first week of June? We've got the Queen of Pentacles. So the focus is really going to be on your health and around the house this week. It's going to be, or uh, for the first week of June, you're going to be either dealing with some health issues and having, you know, make the appointment to go see the doctor. Make sure that you have your annual checkup or if there's anything that, 
you know, it doesn't have to be anything that's wrong. You need just to go get and get, get a check. Just make sure that your health is okay. And this could be a folks around your health or it could be a folks around your house. So you may find that there's something in your house that's breaking down, whether it be your toaster or your coffee maker or something's just, you know, you knew it was on its way out and it's now going to be on its way out. <laughs> the second week of June, we've got the Two of Pentacles. So with the Two of Pentacles, there's indecision here. You're trying to figure out what to do. So in the meantime, you're multitasking. You're trying, you're doing a multitude of things, trying to, you know, juggle everything is basically what you're doing. So the second week, you're going to be juggling, mostly financial. You'll probably be like, you know, paying Peter to rob, rob Peter to pay Paul kind of thing. By the third week, you've got the Page of Cups. With the Page of Cups, this is about following your heart. This is about figuring out what it is that's most important to you and following your heart about it. Maybe that's where the indecision is coming about. Um, but definitely there's a focus here that's needed on your um, well-being, including your emotional well-being. For the fourth week, oh, you got some worries and some stresses happening. A lot of times what we think of is so much worse than what actually happens, but there seems to be... <clears throat> For you guys, it's like there's a blockage here. There's some kind, by the end of June, there's some kind of blockage. And I think for some people, this is gonna be a literal blockage, whether it be in your heart or lungs or something health-wise. So like I said in the beginning, go see, go check out about your health, do that. Um, for some people, this could mean um, just being stressed out and worried about the overwhelming part of life and overthinking things and being too too much in your head maybe you need to get away for a little while and take a break from your own brain sometimes because we can overact and over stimulate our brains to the point where we think everything is is um catastrophe or we catastrophize everything and it's not it's not as bad as what we think so cancer what do you need to know about the first week of june we got the high priestess so there's a hidden agenda agenda here um, whether that be yours or somebody else's. So it's either you've got something that you want to do or you're trying to do secretively, or there's a hidden agenda out there that you have to be careful for. For some of my cancers, there's this is going to be, if you've been looking to try to get pregnant, this could be that you're with child. <laughs> I hope. Congratulations. <laughs> the second week of June, we got the three of pentacles. So this is working really well together. It's, 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 um, it's a good week to try to figure out um, about specific things that you might want to get done. Like there might be a painting that you want to get done or there might be a writing you want to get done or there's something something that you wanted to work on this week and this is a great week to do it because whatever you do is going to be good and it's going to be appreciated by others. By the third week of June, we've got the lovers. So it's, again, twofold. For some, it's going to be that, you know, partnership, that love, that happiness, that summer romance, or just that rekindling of, of an old romance. But for some, this could be that your past is going to come back to haunt you a little bit. Something that you did in the past, some decision that you made about in the past is going to come back and it's going to affect your future. And now you're going to see the effects of it. And this could be like somebody from your past coming back into your future. For the fourth week, we've got Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Perfect. Your end of your month, regardless of how the first three weeks go, is going to be wonderful. You're going to be like on vacation or you're going to have a great time with somebody or there's going to be some time to get together with somebody. But whatever it is for that week, you're just going to feel happiness. You're going to feel feel like the weight of the world is off your shoulders and you deserve it. <laughs> so for my Leos, what do you guys need to know for the first week of June? First week of June, we've got judgment. So this means there's going to be a new relationship, a new partnership, something that's going to be renewed. Maybe this is uh, you and a friend are going to be getting together and there's going to be this renewed friendship, this renewed sense of, of, of belonging and friendship there. So judgment is like a new phase is coming into your life. Something new is about to start. And it's a very good thing. Very good thing. When it comes to the second week, we've got the Four of Wands. All is well. You're going to be um, working around the house. This is a good time that if you wanted to plant some flowers or put some flowers up, this is a great time to get it done. Um, maybe you've been, maybe you haven't had a chance to do that yet. Um, 
And this could be like getting together with some family and friends. It's summertime, so it'd be a great time to get together for a barbecue or something of that nature. For the third week, oh Lord, we've got the Five of Pentacles. I apologize, but you're gonna have uh, some minor health issues or for some people it's gonna be minor, minor uh, money issues, but it's minor. It's not the major arcanas, it's a minor arcana. So it's just, it's just one of those weeks that's just gonna be off, whether you're not feeling well or your money's just a little bit off. And for the last week, we've got the Ten of Wands. So for you, you feel a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. It's like you have so much on your on, on your plate. You have so many things that you're responsible for. And it's like it's not fair. You can't be the only person that's responsible for it. It's like there's, there's a need here for you to um, get help and to know that even if you're struggling right now, even if you're feeling like you, it's hard to get through every day, there's something coming up really soon that's going to give you some relief. So hold on, don't don't let go yet. Things are gonna come to get better. So Virgo, what do you need to know for the first week of June? We have the Empress. So I got two feelings here. One is this feeling of like, yay, summer's here and you're just going to be so happy and going forth and enjoying the summer and spreading your wings and just being like, yes, darlings, it's finally summer. For some people, this is going to be that you're going to find yourself pregnant. <laughs> In nine months, we're going to hear about little bambinos. Um, and for others, there's going to be some smothering here. Sometimes the empress can take on too much and she she loves you too much and she just smothers you. Like you can't make your own decisions because she's there to smother you. So this is telling me that for some, you're going to have to back away from somebody that maybe you're uh, overwhelming somebody, okay? For the second week, we've got the Page of Swords. So with the Page of Swords coming out, um, there's going to be a news coming. You're going to be finding out about some kind of news that's going to affect you. Um, and this is definitely going to be uh, um, a card of thinking before you act. So make sure that whatever you're going to do, don't just do it. Think about it before you do it. Think twice. It's one of those, it's like that expression, you know, cut once, measure twice. That's this card. For the third week, yes, darlings, you're going to have some achievement. You're going to be seen as, um, as, um, having having achieved something and you're going to feel really good about yourself and people are going to praise you this week. People are going to really make you feel good about yourself because you deserve it. For the last week, we've got the Page of Pentacles. So with the Page of Pentacles, the focus is on your goals, what it is that you want to see coming up. So whatever you focus on, whatever you put your intention on, you can achieve. And especially if it comes to money or your house or anything like that, this is a great time to... to um, Put your mind into that mind set and think about manifesting money and, and belongings and a home and things, cars, whatever you want. This is a great time to do it. Libras, what do you need to know for the month of June? First off, we got justice. So if you are dealing with any kind of legality, it's going to go your way. Yay! Um, justice also can mean that you know, you may feel like something wasn't fair, but it was just. And that's what this week is going to be like. It might not be the fairest week, but it's going to be a just week. Make sense? The second week, we have the Page of Wands. So with the Page of Wands, you're focusing on your goals. You're focusing on what it is that you want to do in the near future. So if you focus on it, you'll be able to put the intention on it and then you'll be able to manifest it. But first you have to get that thought into your head and you have to think, uh, not just think about it, you have to feel it and want it and desire it and, and have that emotion rile up in front inside of you in order for you to attain it. By the third week, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. So slow and steady wins the race. So you you are going to get to a point where um, you know, you'll be able to figure out what it is that you want to do going forward. But this is going to say that, yes, what you want is going to come to you. It's just going to take some time. Don't be too quick because it's going to take a little bit of time. Slow and steady wins the race. And for the fourth week, we got the fool. So enjoy. It is time to be foolish. It's time to enjoy your summer. It's time to enjoy a little vacation. It's a time to enjoy just being a kid. 
You know what? You know, if, if you haven't been out swimming in a while, if you haven't skipped rope, whatever it is, go out and do it. It's time to do it. You have the permission of the fool to do so. Have some fun. Aquarius, what do you need to know for the first week of June? We got five of wands. First card out, there's going to be some minor um, disappointments, minor arguments, minor little disagreements that are going to happen at the beginning of the month. Maybe you're just going to disagree as to where you're going to go on vacation. It's nothing major. Second week is the Queen of Pentacles. So you're going to be worried about your health and worried about your house. So these are the things that you're going to be focused on. So the second week in June, you're going to be, you know, probably doing your, your summer cleaning. And and um, this would be a really good time for you to go get your health checked. If there's any t appointments or tests that you've been putting off, this is the time to get them done. By the third week, we've got the Two of Pentacles. So you're trying to juggle the what's going on in your life. It's like... Um, it's like there's there's pressure coming from all ends and you just you're just trying to keep yourself afloat. So for the third week, it's just gonna be a week of of self-preservation. By week four, we've got the page of cups. So there's gonna be some good news coming to you. You're gonna be hearing about some positive news that's going to make your day. It's probably to deal with your heart, because this is all about following your heart, following your heart's content, following your heart's desire. So this could be falling in love. This could be getting the right job, getting the right friend, getting the right whatever. It's something positive going to come out of this month for you at the end of June. So follow your heart. Pisces and the month of June. What do you need to know? First week, we've got the five of wands coming out. So there's going to be minor disagreements, minor issues that are going to come up. Um, it's just more of an annoyance than it is anything else. It's something that'll get cleared up. By the second week, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So here is when you're going to be focused mostly on your health and on your home. So this is a time that if you've got uh, any tests, any appointments, anything like that, this is the time to go ahead and get them done. Um, and, you know, this is a great time to like uh, clean up around the house, put in that flower bed that you always want to do, or just do a little bit of gardening or, you know, that kind of a thing. Watch things as they grow. By the third week, we've got the five of cups. So there seems to be that there's something, um, this is like a blessing in disguise here that somehow, some way, something is lost, but there's something gained in that somehow. So you are going to feel the pangs of some disappointment, but the good is the what's what's what was good about the situation is still left there. It's still there for you. By the fourth week, we've got the fool. The fool is all about having some fun, act like a child, have fun this summer, go play out hopscotch, do whatever, just have some fun. This is a time to be free and to to let your freak flag fly. <laughs> So Capricorn, what do you need to know for the first week of June? We've got the Three of Cups. Celebrate good times. Come on. Time to get together with family and friends. Go for that barbecue. Get together. Swing into the summer and have some fun. You deserve it. By the second week, ooh, we got the devil. So for some people, this could be that, you know, maybe with the summer coming, you might pick up some bad habits that you don't want. Maybe you'll start drinking a little bit too much. Maybe you quit smoking and you might find yourself ha wanting to have a cigarette or it just feels like something maybe that's negative in your life that you don't really want in your life that you try to keep out of your life is going to make its way into your life and, and let you know, hey, I'm still here and it's up to you whether or not you have the strength and power to keep it at bay or you're going to let it affect you. By the third week, we've got the hangman. So hopefully you'll be seeing this from a different perspective because that's what this card is about, seeing life from a different perspective and having to sacrifice. So maybe if you have been overindulgent uh, last week, this is a week where you go, oh no, I gotta, I'm going to watch what I eat, I'm gonna watch what I drink, watch what I do because I, I was really bad last week. <laughs> it's that kind of a thing. And for the last, we've got the two of wands. So this is definitely, by the end of June, you're just going to be kind of thinking like, what, what am I doing with my life? What is my life's purpose? It's like you're going to get really philosophical on yourself and just be like, what is it that 
I need to do going forward. It's really important for you to figure this out. It's like there's some kind of it's some kind of inner part of you that's going to be wanting to change the way things usually go. And it's going to be a positive change. So Sagittarius, what do you need to know for the first week of June? We have the five of wands. So there's going to be some petty arguing, petty fights, just... It's just going to be one of those annoying weeks that, you know, if, if there's people are just going to be in their feelings and feeling a little sensitive. By the second week, you have the seven of swords. So you're or six of swords. So you're certainly moving out of the bad and moving into a, a easier time of it, or at least you're getting away from the fighting. Maybe this is you literally moving away like physically moving or going away for a short time to get away from whatever's been going on by the third week we've got the nine of pentacles so here it's like everything is good you're going to be hearing some really good news that's going to change whatever was happening here um but it just seems like there's a lot of upset and frustration and then it's like all of a sudden you hear some news and it gives you the relief that you've been at looking for and by the fourth week, oh, we got the tower. So by the fourth week, um, there's going to be some major changes happening in your life. There's going to be some major um, decisions that are going to change your life. Now, whether or not you're going to be aware of these, it might be something that's outside of your control. So it could be something around your circumstances that are going to change and it's going to change the way your life is going to end up going. So something major is going to be happening for you guys. By the end of June. Scorpios, what do we need to know for our first week? We've got the Six of Pentacles. So this is going to be a week in which you're either giving or you're receiving. Somehow, some way, there's going to be somebody who's in need. If you're in need, you're going to be able to find the help that, you're, that you need. And if there's somebody who's around you, you're going to have the ability to be able to help them. So either way, it, it's a great feeling. The second week, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. So this is about having patience. Sometimes we want something so much and so quickly that we get overwhelmed and, and we get too kerfuffled about it. And then we lose sight of what it is that we actually want. So this is saying, take have patience. Things are going to work out the way that you want them to. By the third week of June, it looks like you're going to be doing some kind of movement, whether that's moving to a new home, new place, getting a new house, uh, or getting a new apartment, um, getting a new vehicle. It's anything to do with movement. It could be travel. Maybe this is your June time that you're going to be on vacation or making your plans to go on vacation. And for the last week, we have the Three of Wands, which is waiting for your ships to come in. It's like you're, you're reaping the rewards. So... This month, however the month begins and ends, you're going to end up having a month where you feel rewarded. It's going to be a month where you're going to be rewarded for your efforts. So we're going to finish off our reading with the angel answers. This is when you get to ask a question that has a yes, no, maybe as its answer and or you're looking for some really great advice. This is a great time to do it. So what I want you to do is just close your eyes and think about a number, one, two, or three, and tell me which number resonates with you, one, two, or three, and then go to that number and find out what your advice is. So for number one, we have choose a new direction. The time has come to choose a new direction for your life. The circumstances that you find yourself living, it may seem unfulfilling, or perhaps your heart is full of discontent. You know that there's something more out in the world for you. And you've been procrastinating following the guidance of your angels. Make a conscious choice to be the person that you're meant to be. Create an action plan for yourself that leads you into the direction of your divine life purpose. Begin taking steps immediately forward to a happier future. If you chose number two, you get if you believe. What you need right now is faith. You can have what you desire, but you must believe that it can be so. Stay positive and visualize the outcome you're hoping for. Set aside all negativity or pessimism in favor of a sunny outlook. The law of attraction brings to us what we expect to receive. If our perception is that we deserve great things, then we will attract happiness. If we fall into doubt and don't believe in our own self-worth, then our experiences will match that energy. Believe in yourself and, the, and your cherished dreams. And if you chose number three, you got big happy changes. 
Big positive changes are coming into your life. You may find yourself on a new career path, entering a new relationship, or moving into a new home or city. Embrace these exciting events knowing that your angels are beside you all the way. What you are asking about may require you to take a leap of faith that may seem frightening or beyond your ability. Trust that your opportunities before you are meant to bring you happiness. These options would have not presented themselves unless you were ready for them. Release your fears and follow your heart. So my dear friends, that is our monthly vibes. I hope you enjoyed them. As always, I thank you for your time. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and share to my channel. And as always, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. Until the next time we chat, take care, cheerio, and God bless.